So that was a quick overview of my full room. It's not super, super big, but this is how I have it set up. So first is my Ikea mirror that you see when you first walk into my room. And then I have the shelf right above it with some decor that I got from like Ross, Hobby Lobby, um, Target, a lot of things like that. So I just kind of tried to decorate it to kind of match the theme of my room. So I have a couple of vases that I found from Ross in this faux cactus that I found from Target that I thought was really cute to kind of add a little bit more green and yeah that is the shelf which is also from Ikea and so are the brackets so I hung this right above my mirror so moving on to my desk this is definitely one of my favorite parts of my room I love the gallery wall a lot of these images are either printed offline or I got a couple of pieces from Target this print right here I DIY from a picture that I saw online and then this little wall decor is from Target. I also found this on Pinterest. I will link the blog that I found it on if I can find it. And then I just tried to put different types of frames and colors with golds and grays and pinks because that is kind of the theme that I have for my room. So this is just an overview of my gallery wall. This is my workspace. And then I also have this hook here where I hang my headphones and things. So this is my desk space, my MacBook, where I'm currently sitting right now doing this voiceover. This calendar I found from TJ Maxx. It's interchangeable. I keep my passion planner on my desk, just some little knickknacks in that jewelry container, a candle, and some of my favorite books or books that I'm currently reading. This key hook I found from Ross and my headphones I got from Icing. They have marble on the side. They're really, really cute. So this is just an overview of my desk again and my favorite place. When I'm editing, it's just a nice place to kind of look at these pictures and it's just really awesome. I love the way it turned out. So over here to the left of my desk is my basket that I had got from Ross and this just holds all of my filming equipment. So soft boxes, mics, my tripods are to the side of it. That little frame there is what I use to keep my camera on the tripod. So I keep all of that in there to kind of keep it out of the way. And then moving on to my bed space, these pillows. It's very simple. I wanted to keep everything pretty white and neutral. I do want to change out my pillows, but I have those two. And then I DIY'd this macrame hanging. If you guys want a tutorial on that, let me know. It was just something I wanted to do to add some fun to my room. And then moving over to the side of my bed, this is where I keep my nightstand. And a little stool with a pillow on it. So I like to keep my candle burning. I have a diffuser. I'm typically using lavender oil because it helps me sleep. And then I have my only living plant in my room, this little succulent from Smart and Final, and my nightstand, which I actually got from Moss for a pretty good price, and it gives me mid-century modern vibes. I really love the way it fits into my room. And another favorite part of my room are these curtain lights that I have hanging on my wall behind a curtain, and I just love it. I think it gives my room like a really nice vibe at night. And then this is my closet. Just doing a quick overview for you guys. I do have a closet tour up if you did not see that I will link it on the screen. This is an overview of my closet. I kind of changed a few things around so it's not that different from the video but I just moved around some of my shoes and put some new ones in the front so that I can remember to wear them. This is right next to my closet. This is where my TV is. I also have this little cube from Ikea that I got where I house some of my things just for decor purposes. I got this candle from Ross which smells incredible. I love it. And then in my cube, this one holds some of my go-to glasses, which I put in a candle holder. And then I have this one with some books and my cable box. <laughs> then this organizer I got from TJ Maxx. And on top of it, I keep a print of a rainbow and an old camera of mine that I've had for years. I thought it looked really cool and kind of vintage. And then this cube, I keep another candle 
wanted to keep it a little light and bright so I put these faux plants one from Ikea and one from Target and I just sat them in a little box that I got from something I don't even remember this cool jewelry holder I actually found at TJ Maxx and I'm obsessed because I'm pretty sure there's something like this at Urban Outfitters for like double the money so that was a steal because it was only ten dollars so in this corner I haven't really figured out what I want to do with it so I have my vision board down here still need to hang it up so that's where that lives and then I have another faux plant that I also got from Ross and right above my TV I have these two hanging shelves that I got from Urban Outfitters while they were on sale and since my walls are pretty hollow these were perfect so on this shelf I have this print that I found on Pinterest and an Ikea frame and a little ceramic doll that my great-grandmother gave to me when I was young so I wanted to keep something alive for her in my room and then I have this awesome faux plant that I found from Ikea that I am in love with. I have been looking for a hanging plant. This was only $7.99. And then on top of that, I put this salt shaker, which is a pineapple, in a rose gold print that I got from TJ Maxx. So moving on to my vanity area, you guys have seen this in my makeup tutorial, which or my makeup collection, which I will leave on the screen, but this is how I have it set up right now. That basket is a disaster. But I have this acrylic organizer that holds like my lippies and different things. And this frame I got from TJ Maxx and I just put an old pair of lashes in it. Saw someone do this and I thought it was the cutest idea. Then I have these faux flowers here. And then this is my things to try basket. So clearly I have a lot of things that I need to try out. And then I have this little holder that holds all of my everyday products and my makeup brushes. And hey, you can see me in my pants. These curtains I got from Target, which are awesome. They kind of have this reflective gold material within them so it's kind of tweed into that and I think it looks really awesome that's why I get do my makeup and film and then to the left of my vanity I have my Alex 9 drawer which was also featured in my makeup collection video nothing has really changed here it's pretty much the same my lipsticks are in this acrylic organizer that I got from the container store still have some brushes that I like to keep on display in that cup there my Juicy Couture perfume and a little Tory Burch perfume in Absolute, which is my absolute favorite perfume of all time. It's incredible. And yeah, so that's my Alex 9 drawer. And this completes my room tour, guys. That's pretty much it. It's fairly simple. I wanted to keep it pretty minimal, but I love the way it turned out. I love my room right now. It's such an awesome space to be in. It just makes me feel really comfortable. So if you are not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment what your favorite part of my room was. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I can only imagine us together side by side. I can only imagine a world dancing in the moonlight. I can only